Hello and what's up everybody, this is P. Sharma and in this video we are going to learn about the backgrounds and border. So without wasting our time, let's just take a deep dive into it. So open up the Visual Studio code and I have already created a file index.html with title, background and borders and I have linked my CSS file, uh, CSS file with it, uh, with name of styling.css, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna work with the background first. So yeah, let's just go. Uh, first of all, I'm showing the output, okay, of my web page. As you can see, my web page is not. My web page has no background. I have not set the background to my web page. So let's set a background to a web page first. So I'm go to the styling part and I'm gonna grab my body element over here and I'm gonna choose the background. Okay. So now you can see uh, by typing the word background, a number of properties of background will appear on your screen. So you can choose any uh, any of the property as per your requirement. As we are going to work the work with the background, so I'm going to choose the background image over here, okay? And then the URL. So in between the URL, you have to choose the like the name of the image or the address of your image where your file is located. So image file is located. Okay, right? So now what we can do is now just check our output first okay mm. okay guys so you can see i have used a scooby doo cartoon wallpaper image and you can see my image is too small in size and it is repeated over a period of time to fulfill the size of my background because a browser is uh, designed in such a way that it automatically uh, uh, for fit automatically uh, fill your background. So what else you can do so that your back uh, so that your image does not repeat? So you have to do nothing. You have to go in this styling part and you can just write code a uh, background. Sorry, we are going to work with background repeat now. So we're gonna repeat. Okay, over here. So just after that, you can type no repeat. So now in the output you can see after saving the file, uh, my image is on uh, only one image on your background. And now you can see we are left with the white space over our entire background. So what we can do? So we can just go on our styling file and we can write something called background size. Okay. So as you can see, I have shown the background size. And remember one thing: if you're working with the background size property, it's only going to work with the background image. Uh, because the background size property is associated with your background image, not your background, not with your background. So, uh, remember whenever you are working with the background size, you have to uh, it is going to work with your image part only. So, um, think about, uh, think first before using the background size. So, I'm going to choose this cover. So, what cover will do? Uh, cover will auto fill your background with the same image and uh, with the zooming property. So, now you can see my a single small image is now get zoomed and as I, my pixel quality is low because I have using a less pixel of image so my pixel get distorted when it can zoom so whenever you are choosing a background of your web page so what it, can you do you can just download a high definition image or you can just convert a low definition image to high definition image by some software or anything so now just move on to the your border part so for border part i'm going to create a div tag over here okay you can create a div tag with the class name sorry this class name as we are going to work with the image borders i guess so we are going to work with the image borders okay so let's just add an image to our border with our web page so i'm going to choose the border okay this image uh, let's just show an output after saving the file, as you can see, a Scooby Doo image appear on a background, but its size is too big, so let's just go and reset its size. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab my IMG element over here, the image element, and I'm gonna choose it height to 250 pixels. Set it out to 250 pixels. Okay, now it look pretty good. So what I can do is I can just go over here and I'm gonna grab my image border class over here okay so now what i can do is i can just reset the 
I'm going to show you two ways to write the code. Okay, so one way is this uh, in which you have to write a multiple line of code. Hey? But if you are a programmer, if you are a developer, yeah, so you always try to write a single line of code, the minimal line of code that can be used because if you use a number of line of code, is your code becomes your lengthy. Huh? So all a good programmer always try to use a less number of line less number of lines of code. So what you can do is I'm going to show in this uh, in this video only. So first we are going to work with the lengthy process. So uh, as I can show you this. I'm going to choose a border uh, of five pixels, okay? And I'm going to choose my border color to maroon. And let me choose my border in little mode. Border broader. So and I'm going to choose my border color over okay? My border border be over here. Ah, we're going to choose the border style, okay? So you can go here and you can choose the border style. I'm going to choose a solid. And now I'm gonna choose. He said his height as per our image height. So I'm going to choose it 250 pixels. I'm going to reset its width also for 250 pixels. So now let me show you the output. After saving five, as you can see, my image is now got a border of five or uh, 10 pixels with the maroon color and a solid style. And hide is with I have said as per the image. So now it is the first way of writing the code. Now second way, uh, you can just you can just remove this part and you can just write in a single line. What it is and just write the border and you can uh, use this uh, all the properties in a single line. So for that you can use type the word. First of all you have to type the size of your uh, for of uh, your border. So I'm choosing the 10 pixel size. And after that, you have to choose the style of your bot. So I'm going to choose the style uh, dashed. Okay. Now you can choose your color of your bot. So I'm going to choose purple. Okay. As you can see, I have used the three properties of a border in a single line. And previously, we are using uh, three line of code to do the same. So let me show you now. As you can see, uh, my image now has got a border of 10 pixels with the dashed. Uh, dash style and purple color so in this way you can work with the backgrounds and borders of your image i hope you like this tutorial guys and do comment uh, thanks for watching guys